There you go. And tenant deposits is kind of um, prescribed information we've talked about. We gave you it yesterday. There are three deposit schemes. I would strongly suggest you go on a training course for dispute management. It allowed me to understand how and when you can retain or not retain. My aim is to not retain any deposit. My aim is to get back a beautiful house in great condition and have them go off happy. And that happens way I mean, over 90, 95% of my tenants. We haven't even measured it because it's no issue to us. I want to give you your money back. Make sure the house is in order. So we will put in preventative pre-inspections to make sure that happen. You've got to release it, uh, protect it within 30 days and release within 14. Remember, we always ask them for a check. Uh, sorry, an address because we send checks. And they don't realise that because we're saying we send our processes to send by check, they have to, they, they, don't re they don't put it together, they just go, brilliant, I want my money, where's my, you know, here's my address. Now the other way to do that, which, so that you, because some people won't because they've worked that out, is uh, when we're doing move out on single lets, we prepare all the utility bills, changeover sheets. Yeah. And it just says, you know, dear, um, you know, self, seven Trent water, um, I am now moving, I wish to close my account at the yeah. house. Uh, my new address is bang bang bang, which they have to fill in and sign. It's all yeah. you know, then you then you go right. I will now photocopy this for you so that you've got a copy, and I will send it yeah. on to you. Don't yeah. worry about it. We're taking care of it. But you've got it. Absolutely. And ASTs remember to tell folks that the house are empty all the utilities, whereas uh, HMOs, of course, you're typically paying the bill. Yeah. Um, don't come a cropper and forgetting about yeah, utility bills.